Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Anakin. I design knitting patterns. I teach knitting workshops online and in person and I sell yarn through my website yarnaddict.co.uk. You can find all the links to my social media and how to sign up for my newsletter and everything else below this video. Thank you for joining me today. Today is just a short video, a little bit different from what I normally do. Um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing um, and if you want to leave me a comment uh, so I last year I got this tote bag um, this coconut I'm pretty sure I got it from botanical yarns in the UK and this bit came separately and then the handles came as a separate little um, kit um, so you could use this bit without the handles so i bought this last year it was in the sale and i quite liked the look of it and i thought i quite fancy that this actual bag bit is made of paper um and i kind of wish it was a fancier color but it's okay and i basically just put it in my drawer and kind of forgot about it and then before christmas i got it out and i thought i must actually put it together and use it and i just fingered around to it and it's just been left ever since so today i got it out and i put the handles on so i just recorded myself putting the handles on and i thought i'd just show you how i put the handles on in case you have thought about buying anything like this now you as i said you buy the actual um craft caddy i think it's called um i think it's called a craft caddy you buy that separately uh, you can also use this as a liner for tote bags so i have um several Longchamp Le Pliage bags which I refer to later in the video and this would fit inside one of these as a kind of like a bag liner bag organizer um so I, when I bought it I thought maybe I'll use it for that uh, because it would just give a bit of structure to the bag this is very very light so it doesn't add much weight all the other bag organizers I've tried for that tote bag are just quite heavy but I don't know whether I'll use it for that or not. But I also got the um, handle kit, which is a separate thing because that was also in the sale. So I got that and I thought I'll put the handles on and then I will use it as a craft tote caddy. Um, so the actual tote bag has like pockets on the outside. So it's got two pockets on this side and it's got a wide pocket on that side. So that would be good for like putting your pattern in. And then inside it has loads of little pockets. So it's got... Um, two pockets here and then it's got two pockets there two pockets on this side and two pockets on that side so you know things that you could put your scissors in pens in stitch markers oh it has no actually on this side it's got two pockets on this it actually has two and then a small one in the middle so you could put pens scissors tape measures all the little knitting notions and things that you might need so it's quite a useful little bag i'm going to use it and see what i think of it um but i thought i would just record myself well i have already <laughs> recorded myself attaching the handles just to see how easy that was um i hadn't looked at the instructions before i started recording and the instructions are not very comprehensive but it was easy what i am interested in which i also mentioned in the video is how long these knots will last um we will see so if you're interested in how to put together one of these uh do watch the rest of the video i have seen some other uk sellers sell it um as well so i think anywhere that sells cocoa nets cocoa nets is an american brand they sell lots of little knitting notions and tools and things i have um another thing here which i haven't opened because i accidentally bought two of these um so i've left this in the box in case i end up giving it away to somebody but i actually have two of these and these are little um needle gauges you know little most needle gauges are like rulers i thought i had one here but i don't so this is like needle gauge all the other needle gauges i got are rulers but i got one of these in my toolkit but this is a spare one because i accidentally bought two somehow um and they do loads of other stuff as well and i quite like their things they're quite fun quite interesting but they are a little bit pricey so if you are interested in one of these they may still stock them i saw a uk seller over christmas i think selling um a different uk seller from the one i bought it to selling it at a discount 
um so maybe they don't sell that well i think they're a bit pricey because they're americans obviously if you're porting it to the uk to sell it you've got to pay import duties and shipping and all that kind of stuff so if you're interested in it just google coconuts and see what's available in your area but um in this video i'm going to show you how i put a handle on and um i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and leave me a comment to let me know if you've tried this and what you think about it and also let me know what you think about my knots some of the, there might be better knots that i could try thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy the rest of this video so i haven't really looked at this since i got it which is quite a while ago so it um, these are two different items. So this was sold separately, um, and it opens up like that. So it's quite big, quite wide, um, and then it has these holes punched for leather handles. And the leather handle kit was sold separately, and I got both of them as I mentioned in this sale. And I haven't done these yet, or even look at how I'm supposed to do it so let's have a look and see what's in this handle kit so I think that's it so it has the two leather handles okay I'll need the instructions I wasn't sure that I would need any tools, but I don't think I do. So it's got these four leather rectangle squares, um, four of these short leather cords, and the handles. Okay, so it looks like the handles are supposed to go on like that. So which side does the... Okay, so the um, this bit goes on the other side, so I'm not sure how you're supposed to get these through. Do you need to use a sewing needle for that? Oh, no, you don't. You just put them through. Like that, I guess. And then put this one on the back, I would imagine. There we go. So the picture just shows you, it's just a diagram, it doesn't really tell you what to do. Okay, and then, I don't know how easy to see this, but there's like two, two of these, oh, I just, handle actually fell off. So I'm going to put that through the top one, and then, through the top one on the inside the top one on this um leather tab and then through the top hole on the actual tote so i think it's easier to put this leather tab thing on the back first and thread this through and i also assume you need to make sure it's pulled through equal amount okay Right, let's try putting these handles back on again and then one will go through the bottom and one will go through the top I guess and then I'm assuming I just it looks like you just tie a knot so from the picture on here it looks like the knot is on the outside I guess you can tie the knot on the inside but on these both on the instructions on the back and on the picture on the front that it's shown it has been tied here now, I'm not very good at tying knots and it doesn't really show you what kind of knot to tie so what I'm worried about um, is tying a knot that will like stay knotted I don't know whether that's going to be good enough to be perfectly honest so it says here no hardware i can't see what it says on there because the sticker was stuck on there but i'm assuming it says no tools or hardware required to add these handles to any cloth or knit bag 
vegetable tanned leather handle kit includes leather washes and cords creates a reinforced attachment to your bags you can carry your market purchases knitting projects and tools the bag requires washing simply remove leather handles and wash bag and reattach handles obviously this isn't going to be washed because this is actually made of paper this is leather now i'm not going to carry anything heavy in these it's just going to be knitting but i don't know is that going to stay tied like that I don't know, let's hope so. Okay, so let's do the other one. So I'm going to do the other one. Make sure I don't lose any of this. I'm going to put these leather cores through because I think it's easier to do it this way first. Just, oh, just make sure I pull them through like an equal amount, roughly. And then I'm going to thread them through from the back to the front. I hope you can't hear the wind today it's very very windy outside and i am right by the window so apologies if you can hear the wind okay like that oh no it's the same handle isn't it i think i could actually use this tote bag as a um, bag liner for one of my long chample pliage tote bags I think it's a bit small for the large tote bag I have, but for the small one, I think this might be about the right size. Um, and it's quite light as well. I wish I could find one like this in a bigger one to fit my large low pliage tote bag. If you don't know what a low pliage is, um, it's just a big tote bag. Um, it's just got like a big hole. I've got a, I bought a couple of um, bag inserts liners for it, but they're quite heavy. And reason I like the low pliage is because they're so light. Okay, so I'm pulling this quite tight, a bit tighter than I did that one, I think. I'm not going to cut these leather things because I am worried that they're going to come undone. If you don't like that look on the outside, I guess you can tie it so that they tie on the inside. I'm going to leave it on the outside for now, but I would imagine it's quite easy to get these undone. So if you don't like that look, you can always put them on the inside. But I don't actually mind that. So I'm going to leave them on the outside. Then let's do the other side. Okay, there we go the inside and oh, can't do it. one thing which is annoying is that these pop back out quite easily right there we go can you see that there we go okay and then Get the second handle, thread one through, and then um, thread the other one through. There we go. My husband used to be into sailing and he knows how to tie knots, so if these don't work, I may have to ask him what knot he recommends. There might be other knots that are better. If you've got these, if you've got one of these, tell me what kind of knot you used. Or if you happen to be good at knots, um, tell me what you think would be a good knot. Because I'm not convinced these knots are going to hold. I think it'd be fine because I'll just keep my knitting in here. Um, but I think if you're going to use it for like heavier things, I'm not sure these knots would actually work. I guess you could also, if you wanted to, make the handbags so they kind of cross over like that rather than on the same side. If you wanted to be able to hold it differently, I guess. Obviously, you can buy these the handles and the actual um, craft caddy thing bag separately. So if you had like a cotton bag or 
any kind of other bag and you wanted a handle kit you could also obviously just buy this handle kit so i bought these separately i can't remember who from um it was in the sale i probably wouldn't have bought it if it was full price i like the coconuts range but it they are expensive products so i don't think i would have bought this if it'd been um full price i only bought it because it was in the site in the sale i think the seller i assume they weren't selling that one they were selling them off so it's quite wide so you can get fit quite a big project in there and then you can just carry it around quite easily like that like i showed you at the beginning of the video and you got slots for various tools and things i do like it um and i will let you know how i get on with it Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It helps me a lot in growing my channel. And leave me a comment to let me know if you have something like this. If you want to, if you fancy something like this, what you think of it, um, let, tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.